Misfits, my name is Demi Harlow, and welcome to the All Misfits YouTube channel with me, Demi Harlow. Because of my extreme fame and hundreds of thousands of fans across the world, I've been asked to do a Q&A by many of you. So my first set of questions are from a good friend called Jay. Hi, Jay. Hi. Is it true that you're a cum slut? I'm not. I'm not sure I understand what that is. Um. Is it true that if we count every man you've had sex with as an IQ point, you'd be the brainiest person in the world? I don't know about numbers, but I know the amount of time I've spent entertaining rich white men could probably add up to the equivalent of doing a degree in behavioural biology. <laughs> I make bad choices. I've heard that your original calling was to become a nun. Tell us more about your near miss with Catholicism. Well... It started as it does for many boys in the Catholic Church. On my knees. Seeing that Demi is reclusive, shy and retiring, what size cock would bring her out of her shell? I don't leave the house for anything less than a good handful than a 20 pound gift voucher for Colin and Barrett because I gotta get my vitamin on, girl. Good health and a strong body are important when manipulating lonely businessmen and giving me money for performing acrobatic tasks in their basement. Or business suite. Or child's bedroom. See, strong. Apart from being hung like an elephant, what other qualities does Demi look for in a man? An elephant? Come on, I'm not that experienced. Maybe a horse or a bull. Besides being very slutty, what would you say your favourite quality is? My ability to sniff out microaggressions and stamp them out. You're problematic. Questions come from Craig. Hi Craig. Hi. What does Demi do for fun? Sometimes I like to pretend I'm a cheap hooker and wander the streets at night. Of course it's not true. And theme parks. I like a good ride. Does Demi have alter egos? I do, I do, yeah. I'm kind of like an onion. I have many layers and I'm hairy and smelly and your eyes burn when you get too close to me. <laughs> what is Demi's ideal man? Thick body, thick dick, thick wallet. And it also helps if it's stupid. Life's just easier. What is Demi's perfect date? Free stuff! Yeah! I want to be spoiled and taken out for vegan food and... Buy me stuff. I'm cute with expensive taste. <clears throat> Is Demi's cunt as big as it says on the toilet walls? My charisma, uniqueness, nerve and talent is vast! And then gulf all who come in its presence. <laughs> She's a hunter! Is Demi a slut? Is it true when Demi was growing up she wanted to become a boy? It's true. The patriarch hit me hard. I was so ashamed of being female that I felt uncomfortable in my own skin. <laughs> But I was saved by the Holy Trinity, and now I love my pussy. Queen Bee, Onika, Riri, in Jesus' name, Amen. Is it true what it says in the toilets that Demi can take three cocks at once? <sighs> I told my dad's friends not to make that public. Sorry, Dad. Motherfuckers are for now. Next set of questions from Kirk. Hi Kirk. Hi. Hi. What are your favourite and least favourite queens of Drag Race? Ah, this one's a hard one because there's so many that I love, all for different reasons, but off the top of my head, um, Willem, Alaska, Raja, Jinx, 
marks. <laughs> All of them I can't, can't do. I can't do. Can't do. <laughs> My least favorite. I'm really nice. I can't say things like that. <laughs> Cut or uncut. All of the above. My favorite episode, Untucked. I couldn't possibly just pick one episode. There's so many iconic moments in all of them. Um, one that comes to mind, um, the fight between um, Shangela and Mimi Ann first is just iconic. Who do you think had the worst look? Well, you tell me. Who do you think had the worst look? I don't have a sugar daddy. I've never had a sugar daddy. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. You could never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. Baby, everything I've had, I've worked for and I've gotten myself. I feel myself from the ground up. My favourite cocktail. Honestly, I don't I don't really even know because I'm a cheap ass. Cocktails are expensive, so I don't really drink them and for a while I didn't really drink. I suppose as long as it went with my outfit, it's good with me, so hashtag aesthetic. Last question, what does drag mean to you? For me personally, drag it allows me to express the way I kinda want to express a lot in the real world, but it's dangerous to do that. But as a drag queen, no one fucks with drag queens, really. We are kind of like the, the warriors of the gay world, I think. So if I just want to put on a pair of heels, dressed as a boy, but with a pair of heels, I, I would get more harassment doing that than I just went out in full drag. I identify as male, and I do express mostly as male, but there's a, a huge feminine aspect to me, and this is my excuse to get it all out. I don't aim to look like exactly like a woman. I don't care if I pass as a woman or not. That's cool if I do. If you think I'm a woman, then come here, honey. For me, it's just using female characteristics and attitudes and fashion to express my own feminine characteristics, blah de blah. I'm coming from real eloquent right now, and uh, <laughs> drag as a whole, there's so many different aspects of drag. There's the butch queens and bearded ladies, and then there's the androgynous people and club kids and the fishy queens, and all of it's valid. It's it's an exaggeration of gender performance, basically. Whatever that means to you is down to you. Um, this is obviously apparently what it means to me. And I'm okay with that, are you? Just have fun with it. Go do it. Put on some heels, put on some makeup, put on the jewelry, and have it around. Don't shave your armpits, it doesn't matter. So that's all we've got time for. <laughs> Busy schedule. <laughs> Thanks for the questions, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Dick.